Hey, check this out. The mailman just dropped me off a new tool. So I'm excited to open the box up and uh, pull this thing out and play with it a little bit. So if you guys like new tools, you want to see what this one's all about, stick around because we're going to check it out. So the timing on this thing could not have been more perfect because we're in the middle of trying to finish up old crow over there and there's pretty much all the wiring left to do on that truck and we've done a little bit of stuff with some of the lights which you guys have seen but there's not even a complete lighting circuit over there so what this tool is is a power probe and this is the km50 super power probe actually is what they call it just super probe i guess and it's by a kz KZ did hit me up and asked me if I'd be interested in this tool and kind of giving a review on it. So I thought, shoot, like I said, we've got all that to do. It's almost a sign that I need to do this. So I went ahead and said, yeah, of course, send it on over. And they said, if I liked it, wanted to uh, share it with you guys, then they would actually give you guys a discount code. So be looking for that at the end of the video if I like it. If I don't like it, then I'm not going to give you the discount code because I don't want you buying junk. So anyways let's see what we got here so right off the bat we got a nice case seems like it's gonna hold up for a little while it's not uh not one of those little just folded hinge things here it actually has a hinge in it so this might be around the shop for a while and not actually break off so that's nice looks like we've got quite a bit of cord here so now the battery on old crow is all the way at the very far back corner of the truck so you've got to hook these up to the battery to be able to use it so if we got to work on something like all the way across the truck, like the headlight or something like that, that nice big long cord is probably going to be enough to reach up there. So that's going to be nice. So looking forward to being able to use that. They do come with instructions here. So I guess we can look at that real fast. And looks like it's going to probably tell you pretty much how to use most of the functions on this. So I'll go over here and kind of give you the highlights of everything here real quick on the instructions and stuff and we'll see what we've got here in the end with that but uh yeah so let's open up this bag of accessories that come with it so let's see we've got the probe that i believe is just going to snap on the end of it here yeah it's not threaded or anything so that just pushes in there on the end and we're going to need some power to it so this is looks like it plugs right directly into our cord and they've got a design where you can only go one way so you can't screw that one up and plug them in backwards so that's kind of nice got a couple of other leads here and uh, one of the style of probes that uh, i think that looks like looks like that would just oh i guess it probably goes on the end of there yeah, it might go on in the inside there, but let's see. Let's just find out before I start guessing. No, it does not. So, all right. So we're just going to put this back on here. And this is one of those style of uh, probes where you can actually just screw this little threaded piece here in. And it's got, yeah. Got the little needle thing there that just comes up and presses into the wire. Then we can use the uh, probe here on the machine and come in here and test the wire at that point. I believe that's the way they've got that set up anyways. So uh, yeah, like I said, I want to play with this thing and kind of see what all it'll do and all of that before I get started messing around with the old crow over there. So. I got my pickup in here. I just did an oil change on it and been doing some service on it. It's got 12 volts worth of battery in it. So I think we can uh, play around with this on there for a minute and see what it does. All right, let's see what I got here. I should have 12 volts. It started and drove here. It lights up, it is turning on and it says I've got 12.43 volts. Right off the bat, one of the things you might notice is there's a light on there. So the first button over here actually, I think, controls the light. So 
that turns the light on and off which is pretty handy if you're underneath the dash or up underneath the vehicle or somewhere where you don't have a lot of good light so i'm just going to turn that off for now though so it's not draining my battery although i doubt those two little leds would drain it much but and then the next button over is a menu button and the next the button over is going to be the buzzer button or the beeping button so you can turn that off as well so now when you do things it doesn't make noise so we also got a rocker switch here we'll talk more about that in a second and then we've got like i said the menu button here in the center so the menu button is going to allow us to go through the menu of different options and different things that this tool will do so I guess we can go through that real fast so there's our menu button right off the bat at the top it says VDC so voltage DC we've got VAC underneath that so voltage AC I don't think we need to cover that too much if you guys don't understand that then you probably don't need this tool so we won't talk about that much then um, under that so to scroll down we actually have the light button and the sound button are our up and down arrows as well on our menu. So uh, down over here, you can see it's lit up over here on this side and then that one. And it says menu in the middle. Hopefully you guys can see that. So in case you forget or just don't know or whatever. So it's there. So there's our voltage AC. Then we got frequency. Then we've got duty. Then we've got fuel injection. We've got resistance. And we've got diode and that brings us back up to the top now let's talk about the little rocker switch down here at the bottom if you look above it there's a little plus sign and if you look below it there's a little ground sign or negative sign that's a really cool feature as well because what that allows us to do by flipping the little rocker here it takes us from having just a probe out here on the end that we can get a voltage measurement to actually being able to have a switched circuit of 12 volts out there by pushing it upwards so or 24 volts if we have this hooked to 24 volts but my pickup's 12 volts so we're gonna get 12 volts out here at the end and if we flip it down then we now have a ground out here on the end so we can use that for a lot of testing on a lot of different things um, you can do checking of things right here on the truck you know if we wanted to take door panel off test like a window motor or something along that lines or a neutral safety switch or the headlights or any number of things we can power them up we can see if it's an issue that we were having that's on the power side or we can throw a ground to it on the other side and see if it's a ground issue so extremely handy to have that option i'm going to go ahead and show you a little bit of that over on the bench real quick so i'm going to do a little demo with this old led light here and kind of give you guys a look of what it looks like to power something up so to power up something, you need a positive and a negative. There is a ground lead on this machine. So I'm gonna go ahead and hook that up to the black wire there. And then I am going to power up our light. While it's powering up, you can see what our voltage does there. You can see the voltage on our battery and you can see how much voltage is actually used for the light. So that's pretty cool. And after we pull it off, we can still see the max voltage used. So a little bit of a reference there. So another little fun thing we can do with this is the continuity test. So I'm gonna take this old jumper wire here and just check it. There's no reason why it should have any brakes or anything in it. So do that there and touch the other end. You can hear the little beeping noise that tells us that everything is good. And there's also a green light lit up there. We take it off, nothing, beeping, green light. Next up, I'm gonna try this little fan motor real quick. It was back here on my shelf. I don't remember what it even came off of now at this point, but let's see if it's any good and then at least I can mark it and say that it's good or not. So once again, we've got a green light lit up there. So this probably is a good motor probably the reason why I kept it that would make sense okay definitely a good motor spinning good bearings sound good we can also see we can also see our min and our max voltage that we're using there 
and we can see what's happening with our battery all on the screen while we're doing that. So I wanted to go ahead and show you a couple of other features this thing has on it and so I brought it out here to uh, play around with this old Buick because it's got some easy to get to injectors and some things like that. Alright so I got the negative and the positive hooked up. Now we can actually get a reading on the screen here of what the voltage is at the uh, battery and then we can actually start testing around with the end of the probe here. So you can test the voltage on a bunch of different stuff but this one's real easy to get to and kind of easy for everybody to understand is the alternator. So if we come down here and touch the alternator, we can see exactly how much voltage we have coming out of the alternator, which should be relatively close to what we have on our battery if everything's working right. So another thing you can do with this is actually check your injector circuit with it. So I'm going to go ahead and take a little T-pin and back probe one of my injector plugs here. Then we just go into the mode situation. Then we just touch the end of the T-pin and we can actually have our reading. So the first number that's going to be important to me on this is going to be the voltage that we have going to the injectors. We want that to be about the same as it is from the battery. The number directly below that is going to be measured in milliseconds and that is going to be how long the injector is open for, so basically how long you're getting fuel. The number next to that, that is labeled min, is going to be the ECM ground voltage. You're going to want that to be close to zero, but as long as it's not over like half a volt, it's going to be okay. Below that is our max voltage and that is going to be our inductive kick when the coil actually snaps shut. The last handy little tidbit on here also is a built-in Noid light. Well guys, I think the KM50 Power Probe is probably going to have to be a keeper. So I guess since I like it, I'll go ahead and give you guys the discount code if you want it. The discount code for it is going to be 20 Hardcore Fab, And I'll give you guys a link to it down below. It's uh, on Amazon. And um, also, not only do they have this Power Probe, but they also have a cheaper version that doesn't have quite as many features as this one but it's still good for doing you know stuff like lights and you know some of your basic stuff so i'll probably go ahead and put you guys a link to one of those as well and um, i guess that's about all i got for you guys on today's video see you guys next time